what's up guys it's your old pal deluxe chimp and i'm coming to you from the longest street in america colfax avenue this sucker goes 26 some odd miles like it goes far anyway i want to give you an update on the 2022 honda goldwing dct non touring the dealership called me last week and they said, hey, your Honda's done. Come on down and get it. Well, cool. Finally. Finally. After three months. Three months. Well, before I headed down, I grabbed up all my paperwork. I called the financial institution for the payoff. I called the insurance company to tell them drop coverage. And I went down to the dealership. And I sold them that cursed object back. Yep. Not my problem no more. That bike, I don't know if you believe in curses or any of that mumbo jumbo. Well, it's spooky season, so maybe you do. Maybe it's a great Halloween story. But uh, that bike has been cursed from day one. You know, I broke a promise when I bought that bike. You know, I told my wife, I said, no more, no more new bikes this year. Well, that was a big fat lie because in the middle of December, that gold wing came. Yep, I bought it. You know, not long after that, there was a death in the family and I had to go back home to Pennsylvania to take care of some business. And in the meantime, my financial institution they went ahead and they picked up another insurance policy on the bike you know the asset has to be protected I get that I understand it but uh, you know I'm out of town it's winter the bikes not being ridden it's locked away safe in the garage you know give me a chance to get back to Pennsylvania you know and get stuff back in Colorado in order nope they went ahead and purchased a four thousand dollar insurance policy for me that just to change my insurance my, my personal insurance policy it only would have added like 200 bucks for the year well no they, they bought a four thousand dollar policy uh and it was fraudulent and i called them on it they said hey you can't have two insurance policies on one asset. That's insurance fraud. Well, they didn't like hearing that. But it was true. They also didn't like hearing that I never signed a sworn affidavit stating the bike was in perfect condition. So they insured the asset without even knowing if the bike had any damage. Well, it didn't, but they didn't know that. So after months of battling with these idiots, I finally talked them down off their $4,000. I ended up giving them 600 because I had to prove I had insurance on the bike, the proper insurance coverage on the bike from day one. So backdate the insurance two months, which no reputable insurance company on the planet would ever do. You, you can't backdate insurance. Well, that cost me 600 bucks. Well, this year being what it was, I haven't ridden a whole lot. You know, especially not a lot for a guy with the brand new Goldwing. Hell, not even a lot for a guy with a brand new pedal bike. But uh, here nor there, 667 miles on this gold wing uh, before I bottomed it out and cracked an engine case. You know, total, total catastrophe. You know, disaster, nightmare. You know, just bad experience all the way around. You know, I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus. 
but uh, I'll just say this bad experience so I sold the bike back I sold it back to the dealership I took the loss uh, worth it that bike is no longer my problem what is my problem right now is this red light I'll deal with this oh there we go well anyway the Honda is no longer my problem and as you can see well I'm still riding it just won't be on a 2022 Honda Goldwing ever again where does this leave me well that's the unknown I don't know if I'm going to buy a new 2023 Goldwing or maybe wait until 2024 don't get me wrong I loved the bike I did most technologically advanced bike I've ever owned most comfortable bike I've ever owned I loved it just an unfortunate event Boop, that was it donezo uh, I really don't know what else to say except uh, that gold wing isn't my problem anymore however I would suggest you Goldwing riders out there, 2018 and up, get some belly protection under those bikes. That's really a weak spot. That's the Achilles heel. That cracked engine case cost me three payments not having a bike that I was paying on. That bike cost me three months of not being able to ride it. And that really sucked. I'd hate to see that happen to you because one of them skid plates is about 200 bucks look into it you know, look into it online do yourself a favor because the job huh, it's in the thousands it's in the thousands guys at any rate I'm going to get going here I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day because it's beautiful out beautiful day to ride free candy beautiful day to ride so that's what I'm gonna do I want to say thanks for watching make sure you click that little clicky clicker with the bell icon so you know when I have more content available and as always guys until next time ride safe <laughs>